غزل دارتنا دارتنا الطير طير العسفير تروي الأحزان كنا ما كان قصفوا غزتنا قتلوا الأطفال قصفوا المعشافي قصفوا المعشافي طب نسكت ليش طب نسكت ليش لقنات العيش لقنات العيش يلعن أبوه يلعن أبوه علي جابوه علي جابوه فلسطينية فلسطينية حرة عربية حرة عربية شبابك فلسطين يا فلسطين والنعم والنعم فين يا فلسطين واطلع يا قمر موهل يا فلسطين وطول كرة الأرض يا فلسطين نخلقنا فنعيش بكل يا فلسطين خلقنا نعيش بحرية
We are on the right side of history. There is no doubt whatsoever where the truth lies. The truth lies with the people. It always has been. And it is only action from the people that will make a difference. It is only action from everybody here that will make a difference. And when you are seeing so many actions all week, so many groups taking on all these corrupt politicians, they still won't call for a ceasefire. When they know full well what is happening, when they know full well what is going on in Gaza and the rest of Palestine, there have been so many deaths and arrests across the bank, across East Jerusalem, across the rest of Palestine. They are occupying even more land. This is a crime against humanity unfolding beneath our eyes. But the most important thing is so many people here are stepping up. And that means so many people here are stepping into the investment bank that are spending so much money and reaping their profits from war and hard. And it is again, it is about the people here. And there have been actions which have reached millions of people across England and the rest of the world this week even against all those banks and investment companies. Yes. It is no, it is no piece of luck that it is people like South Africa, it is people like in Yemen, it is people across the world who have traditionally been under the boots of Western imperialism, it's traditionally been on the receiving end of bombs like Iraq, where Britain and America bombed Iraq and killed a million people. Yeah, Iraqis are still standing with Palestine. Look who is the beacon of, of morals and integrity in the face of such horror. And look at the amount of Western governments that are not calling for a ceasefire, that are allowing 12,000 children to be murdered in four months. 12,000. And it is not kind of deaths. It is under the rubble, left alone, screaming, crying, not often next to their dead family members. That is exactly what has happened in Gaza for so long, and we have been sitting watching it. But the only thing we can do for Palestine is understand that we're not under the bombs. We're not in the rubble. We have relative freedom and we have a lot less to lose. So it is about everybody here stepping up, sharing with everybody, speaking, having those awkward conversations with people who have sadly been influenced by the media, sadly been influenced by the BBC and all of these corporations that own the news media that has been sending horrific messages trying to cover up all of these crimes, divert our attention. Our attention will not be diverted. Yes. Agreed. Uh, we are calling everybody to action going, support all of these actions. It is left to us, it is left to people here, and historically it only ever has been left to people here. This is how change has happened. This is what high level corruption is, and this is what the power of people can do. And that is why we're here today. That is why we will keep coming back. That is why we have to keep coming back. That is why we have to keep taking action. We made sure that Puma no longer sponsored the Israeli Football Association. We made sure that our associates, the recruiters for Albert Systems, had to break ties. They had no choice to break ties with Israel's largest weapons manufacturer. That was action. That was protest. That was occupation. Yes. We made sure that Fisher German, the landlords of Albert Systems and UAV engines, they had to break ties as well with Albert Systems. We even made sure that Albert had to close their weapons factory because it was no longer sustainable in Oldham. That was a five year campaign. Yeah. And that took five years, so imagine we have to stay the long haul. Palestinians have been doing it for 75 years. Israel's only intention has been to wipe them off the map. And now we've seen that even more in Gaza, as there's a lot of politicians now mumbling and ahhing, knowing full well that Israel is trying to wipe the Palestinians out. That's all they've ever done. So for that, we have to stand firm. We have to stand firm. It is horrific, but we have no choice. We have no choice but to stand firm with the Palestinians. It is the of our day. It's been the moral issue for the last 75 years when all the most corrupt governments have been supporting this. This is imperialism continued and we will stand firm. Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! to a few of the speakers and then we will be marching. There's a lot going on on this march, so bear with us and we'll pass you over now. Thank you.
I'd like to first of all thank you all for showing up once again, week after week, for Palestine. We know, we have seen the atrocities, we've seen the videos, we've seen the chi children after children, child after child, mother after mother, crying out in desperation, in pain, absolutely burnt from the bombs, mental trauma that they will never get over. I'd like to introduce to you our next speaker, a Palestinian, a great friend of mine, Hella. Please give it up for her. This morning, Hen, a child, was found killed, her and her family, after 12 days of us hearing her pleading to rescue her life. The rescue team that went to save her were also found killed. This happened even though the entire world heard Hen's screams, and yet it happened. It happened because of the complicity of this world that thinks that Palestinian blood is cheap, that Palestinian lives are cheap, that Palestinian death is normal. But to these world leaders and to all those complicit and to everyone who supports Israel, we say that we will not give you the pleasure of getting rid of Palestinians. This will not happen. You will not get rid of us. We will remain, we will stay, yes. and we will survive in spite yes. of everything that you do. Yes, no justice, no and peace. And for the people here in England, you live under an establishment that is an expert in destroying lives. This is the establishment right here. And this is the establishment that you need to step up and fight against, day after day after day. Let the spirit of the Palestinians fighting for freedom keep igniting inside you. Let that spirit of fighting for freedom lead you. Keep stepping up the way Palestinians have been stepping up for over 75 years. This is the minimum that you can do here. Let that spirit of fighting for justice keep leading the way from Manchester to Gaza. Yes. Dismantle the foundations of oppression. Cut the killing chain. Stop these murderers from Manchester to Gaza. Keep, keep the flame inside you burning for justice and for liberation. Yes. Free, free. This is the minimum that you can do for Palestinians. This is the minimum that you can do for those that are stuck under the rubble. This is the minimum that you can do for Hen and for all other children that are yet to come. This is the minimum that you can do and this is the promise that you need to keep making. Say no more. Say no more. No more. No more. No more. No more. And keep taking it a step forward each and every time. Keep stepping up like Palestinians have been stepping up. Keep doing that day after day after day. Make the establishment fear. Make everyone that supports Israeli crimes fear. Yes. And let them feel threatened by the masses. By those that want to see justice in this world. And keep going until the genocide is over and until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Free, free. Palestine. Free, free. Palestine. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Penny Hicks from the Stop the Hall Coalition in Manchester. Just a very quick shout out. Next Saturday, the 17th of February, we will once again, for the ninth time, be marching through London. And if you would like to go with us, 
you can get a QR code at the stall to get your ticket. It's so important that this Tory government sees in the heart of Westminster the whole country, as well as all the disruption that's taking place in the protests around Manchester. It's a two-pronged attack. We must make this country ungovernable and we need to stop the bombs falling. And to do that, our government and our opposition have to be forced to take action. Thank you very much. Yes. Can I have some volunteers to carry the banners, please? I've got lots of banners here and I haven't got any volunteers. i only got two hands. So can you come and please help me come forward here? Can we give him a big round of applause? How many amazing battles that he's brought for this? Yeah. And help carry them. They're brilliant banners. We do need to make this story out to the rest of the world, and these banners are a helpful thing. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Yes. So can we give it, uh, I'll just introduce now Robert, uh, Robert Lazar from Jewish Action for Palestine. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you. I'm proud to stand here in solidarity. I'm here as a member of Jewish Action for Palestine. And it's one of it, it, it's one of many Jewish groups which have formed over the last few months to give a lie to Israel's claim that they speak on behalf of all Jewish people. That's a lie. Yes. They claim that all Jewish people are Zionists. That's a lie. Yes. And they claim that the slaughter they're carrying out in Gaza, before our eyes, day after day, night after night, is supported by Jewish people around the world. It's a lie! It's a lie! Yes! And so, we're proud to stand here in solidarity. And in the end, that is what will succeed. Because around the world, although leaders like Sunak, Starmer, Biden, and the imperialists are supporting this war. The vast majority of people in this country are demanding a ceasefire. Yes! They're demanding support for the Palestinians and there's increasing support for the Palestinians' demand for freedom and for their own state. I want to say something about, I work as, as a lawyer in my day job, and I want to say just briefly about the International Court of Justice because some people were disheartened and were told it was a defeat for the Palestinian cause. That's not true. It was a massive victory. And I want to say the reason for that is you will have seen that Israel sent its advocates demanding that the court turn down South Africa's charge of genocide. The court, in a remarkable decision, said, remarkable because we know we know the pressure that was put on all those judges from around the world. But they withstood that and they called it out for what it was, a plausible case of genocide. And I want to say this, that's a massive defeat for Israel in the international eyes of the world. Yes! It is a huge diplomatic and political defeat. They sent their advocates to the court saying, turn it down, this can't be true. Well, it is true. And their argument was, well, the people who suffered genocide, how can they suffer genocide? A nonsense argument. Because the lesson of the genocide of the Jewish people was never again for anyone and everyone. Yes! So drawing on that, on the, on the liberation tradition in Jewish history, we are proud to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian cause. Free, free Palestine! Free, 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 free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Yes! Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all. I'm the resistance artist behind Ivy Dream Studio. I tried to write, I tried to write a speech last night, but I'm at a loss for words. What can I say that hasn't already been said time and time again? It's been 126 days and 75 years. I don't really have the words to articulate how I'm feeling anymore. Yesterday, I watched a video of a child, the same age as my youngest daughter here in the pram, burnt and in pain, covered in bandages,
bandages, saying mama over and over again. Her voice was getting weaker with every utterance. I fell apart. I kept clicking and watching, tears rolling down my face, and I saw her again. Three medical personnel working on her now, trying to resuscitate her. She didn't make it. Her name was Sila. Her last words were mama, mama, filled with pain, terror, and alone. Where are the so-called influences of the world? Where is the outrage in our communities, in schools, playgrounds, and children's centers? This country that claims to be civilized and progressive silences the voice of not only us here today, calling for an end to the massacre of Palestinians, but it silences the voices of Palestinians. So I ask them, the silent and the silencers, who shut down and actively hide discourse when it appears on their pretty, aesthetically pleasing little Instagram feeds, the ones who ignore the suffering of millions, saying that they do not understand it. We ask them, in what language does a child cry? Do they not hear the cries of little Sila and 12,000 others calling out for Mama and Baba in their last moments, covered in burns and rubble and decimated by bullets designed to pierce armor, but are instead used against the tiny, fragile bodies of toddlers? Bombs that are created to decimate buildings and cause maximum pain, used on hospitals, tents, schools and homes filled with the injured, the displaced, children and families. I don't feel like I have the words to articulate what we are collectively feeling anymore, because I am angry and my heart feels like it is on fire. So I'm going to read you a poem by a brilliant poet called Vian Imma. I've seen humans become monsters babies called terrorists. Christians on mute, influencers forget how to influence, white supremacy frothing at the mouth, genocide deniers given platforms, men tortured in the West Bank, a, pa um, a pair of feet belonging to a child, no head. Israelis cheer when bombs drop on Gaza. Israelis protest outside Netanyahu's house. Bloodthirsty men given billions to kill in the name of God. I've seen politicians say that IOF is avoiding civilians. Egypt drop off thousands more body bags. Pop stars in the West turn off their mics. People say it's complicated. Jews say not in my name. People say they need more information. Americans say not with my taxes. Slain civilians and horses in bloodbaths on the street. I've seen Palestinians praise God. I've seen Palestinians praise God. I've seen Palestinians praise God. So as they vilify us, call us criminals, terrorists, and barbarians, just remember, these are the monsters that celebrate death. They worship the dollar. They instill fear into the robotic masses and cause division and incite hatred and you plant seeds of xenophobia when they try to make us look in unhinged and out of control by painting themselves as calm and collected. Remember that to be calm and collected in the face of a genocide is psychotic. They are the terrorists and they are the criminals. To not be outraged at the murder of 30,000 people living under siege, 12,000 of them children, they are the criminals. Oh, and when they try to silence us, the more they try to erase calls in Arabic for revolution, when calling for revolution in a foreign language is considered an act of terrorism, we will tell them, the more you try to silence us, the louder we will be. We will tell them, there is only one solution. Intifada, Intifada. Intifada, Intifada. Globalize the Intifada. Globalize the Intifada. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'd now like to introduce our next speaker, Norma. So give it up, she's from Manchester Friends of Palestine. She's a brilliant speaker.
Uh, ben, ben said that I'm a brilliant speaker. So that brilliant speech is a bit of a uh, I think. I'm not looking to impress. I'm looking to mobilize to... Sorry. I think if you get closer. Okay. Thank you. I think what we're watching and what we've heard and what's happening to the Palestinians... I can't use this map, obviously. There's another one. Does that work? Does the other one work? Use the other one, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Look this way. Sorry about this. Um, I can usually use the mic. I think what we need to realize is while Israel is destroying Palestine in front of our eyes, is trying to murder and massacre every Palestinian, they are not winning in terms of the spirit and the resistance. But what they are doing is destroying Israel. The state of Israel is now finished. It will never be again. Yeah. Let's, what we yeah. have to realize is this was always the Zionist project. The Zionist project was to clear the whole land of Palestine of its indigenous people from its inception. And it's done it by stealth. We all knew what Zionism was. It's a nationalist uh, organization, a fascist regime, and it's a colonial settler regime. And that tells you everything. The settlers move like locusts, trying to destroy everything in their path. But what they've done is expose that. They've lived for the last 75 years convincing people that they are the only democracy in the Middle East. That they are the only ones that have got uh, policies that welcome lesbian, gay plus people. They are the only ones that treat women blah, 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 blah. blah. They have never had any of these policies. They've only ever had one aim. And that is now exposed. Everybody knows what the state of Israel is. So nobody, hopefully, will be going there on holiday thinking that they're in Europe in the sun. Nobody will be investing in Israel. Nobody will ever again see this country as a country that is not genocidal because they've done it on television. Yes. So they're finished. They're finished. They're finished. And we have to keep putting that message out. They do, they're doing it for themselves. They're doing it for us. Yes. And so our job is to stand with Palestine, to stand against Israel, to keep standing and keep standing as long as we can. That's what our job is. Our job is to educate everybody that what they're seeing on television isn't some horror film, it's real and it's really the policies. And when they see young Israelis blocking aid and dancing and singing and giving, doing whatever it is to themselves, photos and so on. Disgusting. This isn't just the government. This is the whole of Israeli society. So don't let's pretend that we can't say get rid of the Israeli state because we have to get rid of the Israeli state. Okay, I've had enough. Oh, thank you. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine.
Palestine. Okay, give it up for our next speaker, my good friend and comrade from the Youth Front for Palestine. Yeah. I'm going to read a poem that I've written because I believe that it is important for you to channel your form of activism towards your passions and hobbies to continue to support the Palestinians and stand against the Israeli terrorist regime even in your daily life. Yes! Oh, the people of Palestine whose homes move with you. Where shooting stars aren't stars granting wishes. Where bodies are stolen and thrown in ditches. Such a place where clouds weep and families sweep. Sweep, not dust, but remains of who they once knew and trust and loved and hugged and touched. A city painted in black, white and red all over. Like a newspaper, a joke might tell you. But the newspaper reads something quite array. Palestinians are not allowed to stay. Do they think such propaganda will make us surrender? Such land where the shattering weight on the heart doesn't stop the men to stand. Where mothers still mother their children and foster warmth to love and devotion. The roots of the olive tree run deep with strength. Their fruit bearing bitter tenderness, solitude at all lengths. Over 50% of Gaza may be flattened, but 100% of resistance remains. So shroud in your kafiyah and make it known, we are part of the Intifada and we will not go down. Soon a day shall come where visits to the doctors are for silly flus and regular dues. Where children run from each other playing tag, as opposed to grown men with straps. Where the night sky shines in blanketed dreams. Oh how the moon stared back, might in be, but now a sort of gloom. But what can she do? Alas, we can, so the day shall yeah, return where the land is free. Oh, people, people of Palestine, we stand with thee. From oh, the I'm river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the sea to the river, Palestine will live forever. Thank you. Just, just to remind everybody, after the demonstration today, uh, the, at, the mechanics, at the Mechanics Institute, uh, there is there is a talk at the Mechanics Institute because uh, RS21 is releasing a pamphlet which is Israel the Making of a Racist State. It's at the Mechanics Institute which is on Princess Road just off Oxford Street as you get further down which is we're going to go past and that's at 3 o'clock today. 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And that is a big gathering. It was very successful last time we were there about two weeks ago with the three speakers from Gaza. It's the same place, Mechanics Institute on Princess Street. We've got a Palestinian speaker and there's the release of this pamphlet, which is about Israel, the racist state, because this has been going on for 75 years of, of massacres and horror. And the outrages go a lot further than the last four months. And it's a big reminder of that. It's a great leaflet. So please try and get down to that meeting after the demonstration today, three o'clock at the Mechanics Institute. Thank you. Uh, hello, just uh, one quick announcement before I uh, talk. There's um, coffee and tea at a stall over there if anyone would like it. Um, it's free, so go, you know, refresh yourselves and, you know, let's keep ourselves hydrated and caffeinated for um, the demo today. Um, this week was a week of action across Manchester and across Britain, but especially in Manchester. We so, so many great actions take place. Um, I probably can't even name them all. Um, but what some of the great stuff we saw, especially on Wednesday. Wednesday was a national day of action um, across the country. Uh, we saw a massive demonstration at the University of Manchester with students, workers, not just from the university, but from across sectors, including healthcare workers, uniting together for Palestine and exposing the complicity of the University of Manchester and their investments and links to BAE Systems. Uh, the company which is, uh, produces essential parts of the F-35 fighter jets which are being used to bomb Gaza and are being used to bomb Rafa uh, right now. Um, uh, so that happened on that same day. There were two other actions which took place where some of us went to uh, BAE Systems uh, careers talk and we crushed it and shut it down. And, uh, and that got millions of views 
across the world, said all over Arab and Palestinian media. Um, and that wasn't all. And we also had an event where BNY Mellon, Bank of New York, which invests over £10 million in Albert Systems, Israel's largest private arms manufacturer, they had a, a talk at the University of Manchester, and that was crushed, and that was shut down. Uh, and then, uh, yesterday, Friday morning, uh, a group of trade unionists and workers and activists and students went to the BNY Mellon offices, to one of two in Manchester, uh, just off Deansgate, and blockaded the main entrance to that building once again to show BNY Mellon that we are not going away. And there's been actions against BNY Mellon in New York, in America, in Houston, Texas. So this is a movement that is growing and this is what needs to happen for us. This is what we, what we need to do, is these genociders, these criminals, are here on our doorstep and they need to be confronted. They need to be told to their faces what they are doing to the people of Gaza, what they are doing to the people of Palestine. They need to be told that they personally are responsible for the death, for the destruction, for the genocide. They should not sleep a wink for the rest of their lives. They should have the faces of every Palestinian child running through their brain every time they try and close their eyes at night. That is what we must do. That is our role. They cannot be allowed to forget or ignore what they are doing and what they are responsible for. And it is by doing these things that we will win, that we will break Elbit systems, that we will break BAE systems, that we will break the global arms trade and break British support for the terrorist, fascist, Israeli Zionist state. That is what we have to do. And yes, you may have seen news this week, Rishi Sunak getting up and saying we're going to ban masks or whatever. Don't believe the, the rubbish that he comes out with that we're going to try and criminalise protests harder. Take that as inspiration. Take that as confirmation. Because these people, they run on fear. They live on fear. But they are afraid. They are afraid of each and every one of you who comes out week after week they are afraid of your voices. They are afraid of what you say on social media. They are afraid of what you say in your workplaces and communities. They are afraid of demonstrations like this. They are afraid of Palestine action and the direct action being taken against the yes. state. The British state is afraid of us because we have truth and justice on our side and because we are right and because we will win. Yes. Because we will win. Yes. And, and, it, and because the Palestinian resistance will win and the people of Palestine will win and imperialism will fall and they are running scared remember that and do not be cowed into fear take it in inspiration and intensify your action increase and deepen your action for Palestine and for all the people and oppressed people of the world that is what we have to do so free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Palestine Action are doing a national tour where they are giving a whole day direct action workshops. If you can find that leaflet, there's a QR code and a link that you can scan to apply for that direct action workshop. This is the most effective thing that you can do to shut down the arms trade, to shut down through the Palestinian people. Palestine Action is the vanguard of this struggle. They are on the front lines of this struggle in this country. So get involved, join Palestine Action, look out for that leaflet. And solidarity. I've just got a quick, um, a couple of quick messages, just how we keep each other safe. So can I, if I can just have your attention for like one minute, it won't take very long. Um, we know that we keep each other safe. We don't leave anyone behind. Um, if you see any arrests, anything like that, alert, steward, they're here to support you. Um, so if everyone can repeat after me. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. We keep each other safe. We keep each other safe. We don't talk to the police. We don't talk to the police. We don't talk to blue bib blip blue bib please. We don't talk to the blue bib police. We don't talk to police. We don't talk to police. We keep each other safe. We keep each other safe. If you are arrested, if you are arrested, say no comment. Say no comment. If you are arrested, 
Do not accept a caution. Do not accept a caution. Do not accept a caution. If you are arrested, do not take the duty solicitor. Call Robert Lazar solicitor. If you are arrested, say no comment. Alert a steward if you witness an arrest. We leave no one behind. No comment. No caution. No duty solicitor. We stick together in the block. We are safer when we are together. Only we can keep each other safe. Okay, great. Um, we have some like leaflets with like bus cards with um, the number for Robert Lazar solicitor. If you want them, come find me. There's a couple of us. Um, but yeah, remember the key messages. And free, 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 free Palestine. Right, can we have a couple of people grab the banners and then let everybody else get behind the banners, please? So the banners are well over there.